Uh, first of all, thank you so much for having us. How are you? Fine, great. fine, great. Fine. Yeah. Um, the first question, it's not the first time that the Belgium broadcast to VRT asked you to present Belgium at the Eurovision Song Contest. Um, and in previous interviews, you mentioned that you wanted um, to wait for a special Eurovision song. Um, and what is, according to you, a perfect Eurovision song? For me, there's like, well, there's only two ways. Or it's a song that is really emotional and that really like, you know, can give people goosebumps. Or it's something very energetic and very kind of like, you know, very in your face, you know. Um, and something that's very over funny. Of course. And no, but that's the two possible songs. Of course, the very energetic song is not very over funny. So, yeah, we like emotion. <coughs> and so we needed an emotional track, but a track that could be very, very crossover between all kinds of like, you know, uh, styles. Styles, no, not styles, but audiences, you know, yeah. because Eurovision is like, you know, it's it's a it's a really broad audience, so you need to kind of. What what we've seen lately is that songs that have the perfect crossover between the alternative and the more commercial kind of segment, they tend to do really good, you know. It's like if you have a song that is catchy, it's good for the commercial audience. But if it has like a little bit of an, an, an alternative angle, it like, you know, it convinces people that mostly maybe could be a little bit skeptic uh, uh, about, who, about Eurovision, could think like, hey, actually, it's not a bad song, you know. And if you have that, you know, you have a really, a, a very broad and a very large audience. And you need that, of course, because people need to vote. Yeah, t definitely. Uh, and previously, you mentioned that um, your Euro Eurovision song contains a lot of string instruments. Of and could you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, it's, it's something, you know, we started in, in, in 95 already. We're like, you know, mm. we've been doing this a long time. And from our... Uh, on the first record, there was one song where we used strings, and from the second album, the strings became even more important with so a song like Eden and the third album, Mad About You. So it's something we just love. We're, we, we love orchestrations. Uh, we love, you know, like uh, classical orchestras, but then combined with, with, with pop music. And so uh, we wanted to do something very vintage Hoover Phonics, so then we need strings. Yeah. It's for us, it's, then it's like, you know, there's no way around it. We need like a string orchestra. So the only thing we don't like about participating uh, at Eurovision is that the orchestra is gone. Yeah. It's like, you know, like I love the, the time where, you know, you, you came with a singer and a conductor yeah. and that was it and everybody was sharing the same band same orchestra and you had to do it with what you had and so the song needed to be like really spot on yeah so that's the only thing but we'll find a way around it you know <laughs> like we'll, we'll try to we'll try to solve it you know yeah. now nowadays you, you only can be with six on stage so that's a restriction yeah. but in the end you know it's all about luca's voice yeah. and you know her performance you know so uh, a lot of weight on her shoulders yeah and next month you will reveal your song mm -hmm. Uh, how are you planning to, uh, to reveal it? Ah, well, we'll give you a call and then... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, how are we going to reveal it? We, we don't know yet. Uh, we're now actually uh, working on the video. Um, the song is actually finished since last Friday. So okay. it took a long time, but we're now really happy. Um, and then, of course, the video in... in, 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 in and nowadays is really important, you know. Yeah. So when we're gonna release the song, the video needs to be there so that it immediately, you know, like is like a package of of beautiful images yeah. and a great song. So we're working on that. So depending on how that goes and how fast we proceed with the editing and and and, and, and you know like uh, we're gonna release it uh, as soon as possible, but. Knowing me, it can take a while. <laughs> We're looking forward to it. And uh, Luca, you're pretty young, right? Um, and that cr created a huge age gap between the two of you, of the three of you, actually. There's already a huge age yeah. gap between the two yeah. of yeah. us. So it's like, we're, we're like, you know, we're the alternative, we're, 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 we want to be the alternative version of the Kelly family. Or yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and does it influence the dynamics of the group? Or it's I, nice to have opinions from different generations yeah. I guess mm -hmm. because if the three of us likes it then you know that there's a big audience who will yeah. like it. It's really interesting you know like um, 
we're, we're, we're on the road with like, you know, well, on the road we're, we're with more people than just the three of us. And it's like really, it's a, it's a great kind of like, you know, mix of ages yeah. and kind of people. And it's really inspiring to be, you know, like uh, working uh, together with all kinds of different kinds of people, you know. It's just more... It's very good to keep your mind open, you know, like, and I think that's really important. If you, you're a creative person, you need to move, you, you need to kind of proceed in life, you need to kind of evolve in life. At the same time, you need to stay close to your DNA, but at the same time, you can't repeat yourself. So it's yeah. a really, it's a very difficult balance between all kinds of things. And so being with different people uh, from different generations is just like very good to kind of like, you know, make sure that you don't get stuck in your own world. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it's good to kind of like, you know, sometimes to be forced a little out of your comfort zone. Yeah. And in the past couple of months, you've toured uh, throughout Europe. Yeah. And how did the audience react to your news that you're going to Eurovision? Very, very good, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. very good. We, we, you know, like we, we didn't know what to expect, you know, because we're kind of like in Belgium, we're... A, we were very popular, but actually worldwide we're an alternative band. Yeah. We, we we play all over the world, but we so our audience outside Belgium is completely different than our audience in Belgium. In Belgium. Yeah. Uh, so we didn't know what to expect from our, and most of the people reacted really well, you know. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, of, of course. Sometimes you have like a couple of those like you know alternative snobs who think mm -hmm. like it's uh, beneath their kind of like. Yeah. But most of the time, very good reactions. And um, a lot of people were surprised, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then again, you know, like, uh, we, we, we love the, the Eurovision Song Contest, you know? It's like something I, we, we've been following since we were kids. Uh, and, and I still kind of will continue to do after our participation <laughs> this year. That's amazing. Um, and in the Belgian press, you already stated that winning is not the most important for you. Um, but because of your success, there are a lot of high expectations. So how are you planning to deal with that? I know. I, I read, like, you know, Duncan Lawrence already said, like, the winner of last year, that Belgium's going to win this year. So it's kind of <laughs> like, I was like, whoa, I'm not sure about that. So, well, the only thing we can do is, like, you know, is, is, is like, you know, go all the way and, and do do, do, yeah. be, be what we are and do what we are good at and just give 200% of ourselves and then... We'll see what happens, uh, you know, like, uh, I, s I still remember having a, this discussion with some guy of the record company and said, like, I don't want to win. And then he's like, why, you, you don't want to win? And I said, like, no, man, I just want to give, like, a fantastic performance of a fantastic song that gives a lot of people goosebumps. He said, like, yeah, if you're going to do that, you're going to win. I said, like, yeah, <laughs> maybe, you know, but it's like, of course, you know, like, it, it's what we learned through our career is that, you know, like, just... You should just kind of like enjoy yourself, mm -hmm. have fun, and just like, you know, like... See what happens. And see what happens. Yeah, you can't and control the whole... Yeah, you can't control it, and so the only, th the only thing we're very curious for is like, you know, is the other songs, you know? Yeah, it's like, I'm you know, not gonna listen to them. Oh yeah, I'm gonna listen to them, yeah. of course. Yeah? I do that every year, so <laughs> I'm not gonna change my habits because we're participating, no, no. It's like it's like you know. Like, I think it's really interesting to listen to all the songs up front. That's that's quite different than 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 back in our in our childhood. You know, like you heard the song the first yeah. time the evening yeah, of, the, yeah. of 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 the festival. Nowadays, you can already have a hit before you go to, yeah. to the festival. So, so we'll we'll see what happens. You know, but 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 we. we we're just going to try to kind of like, you know, have fun. I think that's the only thing that matters. Yeah, that's important. And uh, you've mentioned that you have drank coffee with Duncan Lawrence, the winner of last no, year's no, Eurovision. We, we had seafood with oh, Duncan Lawrence. Oh, seafood, seafood, actually. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah in, Blank, in, 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 in Blankenbergen. Yeah, you oh. know, like uh, at the <laughs> Oosterput. Uh, very good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we had shellfish, actually. Okay. Yeah. And did he give you any useful, useful tips? Yeah, he did, actually. Yeah. Yeah. He, he said, yeah, well, you know, like uh, he, what he said was like, it's very, the most difficult part for, for Luca then is to stay in your bubble, you know, like you have all these, uh, these uh, changes, you know, set changes, whatever. And so, so, you know, it's 40 seconds of complete madness, chaos, yeah. chaos yeah. to get you on your spot, to get everything to like, you know. <laughs> And he says, like, yeah, you just need to be in your own space, close your eyes, and sing that first line over and over again. Like, you know, in his case, a broken heart, yeah. a broken heart. A bro 
And I can imagine that is really important for her, you know, to kind of just nail that first sentence. It's so yeah. important. So it's like try to be zen before you start in, in a chaotic environment. That's the biggest, yeah. the biggest uh, challenge, actually. For Luca. <laughs> Not for us, for Luca. <laughs> um, and how will the next couple of months look for you in terms of preparation for Eurovision? Well, we're going to tour. Well, we are yeah. touring at this yeah. moment in Belgium. We're doing a lot of theater shows. So from the moment the song's going to be out, we can start, like, you know, practicing already in live gigs. Yeah, which is, me, it's uh, already singing classes and coaching. Of course. Oh, yeah. to, to be on stage and, yeah. and, and yeah. Yeah, so a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of practicing. Yeah. But, you know, like, the best, practice, the best practice is being on stage yeah. and practicing the song in front of an audience. Yeah. And we have the, the advantage that we can do that, you know? We yeah. have, like, I think we're going to have, like, ten more shows before, before, before uh, Rotterdam. So it's ten shows that we can, can, can check things, try things, see what, you know, what we can change and yeah. how we can, can work on the performance. So it gives us, like... Extra, extra practice, you know, like uh, next to all the all the coaches and the yeah. And you guys will also perform at Eurovision in concert in Amsterdam. Yeah. And besides that, what are other events you are looking forward to? Well, I'm not sure if we're gonna have time to do a lot of the other events because, like I said, we're touring. So we'll see. You know, like uh, we definitely want to go to Amsterdam because that's the most important show. Um, and it's also a very professional show yeah. um, and we're used to quite high standards so <laughs> we're, 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 we've got to be honest you know yeah. we're touring for 25 years so we definitely will do Amsterdam the rest we're still like you know not sure what we're gonna do maybe we'll do another show or, or not but I think Amsterdam is definitely you know like uh, the most, the most the, a must yeah we need to be there and it's close uh, for you. And it's very close <laughs> for us. Yeah, yeah, you know, like Rotterdam as well is one hour for us. So it's, yeah. it's really not far. It's so perfect. We, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the last question, who is your favorite, favorite Eurovision participant in the past? In the past? Ah, oh, that's very difficult. Eh? So many. It's I think like Abba. Abba? Abba, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I think... Um, Franz Gall, Poupée de Cire, Poupée de Son, which was a Serge Gainsbourg song, which I love. But also Salvador Sobral, I think. I think that yeah. was, it's not that old, but I, I, I was really like, I still remember being in my couch, you know, watching that song and really being truly amazed by it. So I was, and also very happy that it won, you know, yeah. like, so that, that's, a, that's a cool song. But of course, there's so many, you know, Après Toi, Vicky Leandro, 72, <laughs> uh, Gente di Mare, you know, like, uh, f um, and also songs that didn't win, you know, there, there were some good songs uh, last couple of years as well, you know, like, um, yeah. I like the three, the three boys uh, from the Czech Republic. Um, uh, what's the name? The, the lake, Mas lake, Lake, Lake Malawi. Uh, Ma Malawi. I like yeah. that. Uh, you know, like so. Um, last year, Azerbaijan was quite good. So, but yeah, there's a lot of good songs from yeah. the past. Yeah, yeah. Well, there, there's there's songs I don't like. You know, we like can. Or the the typical the typical the Eurodance kind of like Euphoria. You know, like that stuff. It's like less my thing. You know, yeah. like I like beautiful written songs you know well we're looking forward to hear your song thank you so much for having us and we can't wait to see you next time